In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the payment wall payment method. So to set up payment wall payment method, we navigate to the store management section and select settings. In the settings page, we select payment. So here we are going to choose our location. So for this example, I'll choose Europe. So here we can find the payment wall payment method. So you can see it here. So the next thing we do is we proceed to install and edit it. So I go ahead and click on the edit button. So what we need to do now is we need to set up the the settings here in order for the payment wall payment method to be active so in order for us to get the project key secret key and widget code we need to have a payment wall merchant account so i already have a merchant account so i go ahead and open it here so this is my merchant account so for us to get the information we need here, I'll go ahead and create a new project. So I come here and then click on the create new project button here. All right, so we proceed to fill in the necessary information. All right, so I call this test shop two. For the project website, so we copy our site URL here and then add it here. So for the description, I say this is a test store. So I can leave the logo and then proceed. All right, so we go ahead and select the um, tick the necessary um, confirmation here and proceed. So we can, um, so we go ahead and, and, and finish the remaining um, options here. So for this section, we can, um, we can go ahead and tick this, say self managed and proceed so here this is the final section here so we just omit that and then it will take us to the final step which will now enable us to save so i go ahead and save this i also save this as well All right, so for this section, I just, I can go ahead and close. So we save again and then close it. So now that we have filled the initial um, setup, as this is only a demo, normally you are meant to activate the project if you want to receive live payment. So, but since this is a demo, we'll leave it as it is. So I proceed to set up the project settings so i go ahead and click on the project settings here so this will open the project settings page so what we'll do here is we go ahead and set up the necessary parameters so that this would work with our store so we leave this as digital good here we enable the widget signature as required so since this is a demo and we are going to be doing um, test transactions, we enable the evaluation mode. So we can leave this as disabled. So for the integration mode, we select open cart here. For the ping back type, we choose URL and then we add the ping back URL. So the pingback URL, I've already um, written it down here. This will be available in the setup page here when you are setting it up. So but for this example, I copy this. 
and add it here so i replace this with the store url so we copy the store url and add it here so the next thing we do i go ahead and add my notification email and then we leave the project logo you can add it if you want so i go ahead and save all right so now that we've made the initial settings for the project you can see that we have our project key and secret key here so we copy it we paste the project key here and then we paste the secret key here so for the widget code to get this we proceed back to the payment wall dashboard so we, we go ahead and navigate to the widgets menu here and select it so in the widgets page you can see that we don't have any widgets that have been set up so we click on the add new widget button so what we do next is we select this option the payment wall multi widget option so we select this and then once we select it we can make some necessary adjustments to it here so so we can type the preferred payment method we want so let's see can type in um or let me just leave this as it is i won't make any further adjustments for now so this can you can easily change this later so let's add this to say bank card and submit and then once we do that we save again all right so after we've saved you can see that this is the widget code here so we copy this as it is and put it here so once we do that we have gotten all the necessary information we need for this section so in the next section we are going to set the other statuses so for the first one for the complete other status so we set it as processing so what this means is when a customer makes a successful payment the customer's order will automatically be set as processing so for the cancel status so what this means is when the the customer cancels the payment before placing the order the order will be set as cancelled so in this section we are going to enable the test mode since we are only setting this up as a test and remember that our project is still in test mode so we set this as test here we can enable the delivery api this is used by payment wall to track your customer's order and it's necessary if you want payment wall to be able to um process disputes and refunds but for this example we'll disable it so here you can set up custom other successful page link so this will be the link that the customer should be redirected to once they place an order in your store this is actually optional as it's not necessary that we fill in any link here so we leave it blank so the next thing we do is we set the sort order number as two enable the status and then save so now we have set up the payment wall payment method so the next thing we do is we proceed to do a test order to see how it works so we proceed to select here and open the store front end 
So here we are now going to place an order. So we select this product. We add it to cart. So we proceed to check out. All right, so we log in. We select the delivery address. So we select the delivery method. And then in the payment method section, you can see that a new option, which is pay with payment wall has been added. So we select it and then we click on the continue button. So in the confirm order section, you can see that the pay via payment wall button is also active here. So to proceed to make payment, we click on this button. So here we'll now wait for the payment wall checkout widget to load. So it's asking us that we should um, set up our preferred um, um payment method so normally this will load the payment wall page so so to fix this issue as you can see here we have to enable payment methods for the project so we have to go back to the payment wall and update the project for this website and enable some payment methods for it so to do that we go back to the admin panel so here we click here to see all the projects so this is the one that we set up for our store so we go ahead and click on the payment method option so here we we'll now open the payment methods page so we wait for the page to load so once the page loads, we can proceed to enable as many payment methods here. So we enable them. We also enable as many as we can here. The yellow ones means that they are not available for our location. So let's just enable as much as we can here. So that we can be sure that um, we can receive payments from as many locations as possible. All right, so I think this is okay for for now. So let's just um, add a little bit more of them. All right, so once we finish enabling it, we can click on the payment method again. So you see the numbers that we have here. So let's add one more here. So as we add it, you see that it increases here. So you see. So let's say we have added this ones for now. So after adding it, we go back to the store front end. So we refresh the page again. So we are going to add a new order. So to do that, we select the product again, add it to cart, and proceed to checkout. All right, so we select the delivery address, proceed. Here we select the delivery method. All right, so in the payment method, we go ahead and choose payment wall again, and then proceed. So in the confirm order section, we now click on the pay via payment wall button. So this time around, you see that it would work. So now you see that it's working because we've enabled the payment uh, method that supports the this currency. So we can now proceed to place the order and then finish the payment. So in this video, I've shown you how to set up
payment wall payment method. Thank you for watching.